Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, also bettingangle.us. Let's talk about the 2024 World Series before Game 1. But first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now this is a lean, it's not a conviction. Right? I understand the Yankees have a lot of power in the lineup. The Yankees have some guys who, if they get hot, can carry a team. And let's face it, Giancarlo Stanton is hot right now. Right now, with an understanding that the Yankees have some wrecking balls, that history has had World Series, where one guy who's extremely hot can carry a team. In this series, look back to the 1977 Reggie Jackson World Series. Five home runs against the Dodgers. But my lean here is toward the Dodgers in this World Series. And I'm a Yankee fan, went to high school in the Bronx. But let's just have a macro here. You know, the Dodgers had more wins during the season. Now, we can factor in good luck, bad luck, Pythagorean analysis, but even that doesn't give the Yankees more wins than the Dodgers. Understand, too, the Dodgers have home field here, right? If you believe these teams are evenly matched, well, the advantage would go to the team that's playing at home. Now, I know the counter-argument is that the Yankees have been phenomenal on the road all year. But if you look at the numbers, the Yankees have not been as great on the road as the Dodgers have been at home. Right? Dodgers have home field. Let me also say, too, that when you look at teams like this, the World Series is the kind of thing where managers might panic. Players might panic. It's the biggest stage possible. Well, let's look at the managers. Understand, while Aaron Boone has had a successful career, it's Dave Roberts who has managed World Series teams in 2017, 2018, 2020. Folks, he's already been to at least three World Series as a manager. I like that experience. I give the Dodgers the edge in that department. Let me also point out, too, that you heard me mention three big names from the Yankees, right? Soto, Judge, Stanton. Just understand, the Dodgers actually are the better run-scoring team. They average 5.2 runs per game. The Yankees only average five runs a game. And the Dodgers did it with a deeper lineup, right? Sure, the Yankees have some guys with a lot of power but they don't have the offensive depth that the Dodgers have let me uh, also point out too that with the Yankees power comes volatility Stanton who's hot right now is feast or famine look at his on base percentage for the year folks it was bad it was around 300 Right? Not batting average, but on base percentage. Let me also point out, too, that the Yankees seem to be better against American League teams. Dodger brilliance actually extends interleague based on the interleague records of these teams. The Dodgers were 30 and 16 interleague. Again, 30 and 16 interleague. The Yankees were 23 and 23. They were just 500. Now, I know some people might overlook this, but what that tells me is that the Dodgers have the kind of scouting department that finds hitters for them. The kind of GM that finds hitters for them who make quick adjustments who are hard for unfamiliar pitchers to figure out. 
that's something to consider. Also, I see that many pundits are extremely impressed with Garrett Cole, right? Who's pitching game one. He's the game one starter for the Yankees. That gives him the opportunity to pitch in three games, right? Game one, game four, game seven, if it gets to a game seven. Right, Cole, no doubt, is a big name in baseball. But, let's remember, Cole is 33 years old. 33. Let's also remember, his regular season ERA this year was 3.41. Those are the numbers, folks. Let's look a little bit more deeply at the pitching. You know, the Dodgers have more variables. They have had that all year. By variables, I mean the Dodgers are throwing more guys at you. That's their culture. So, in terms of starting pitching, it might surprise some people that the Dodgers starter with the most innings pitched was Gavin Stone. He pitched 140.1 innings. Understand that's how much the Dodgers use their bullpen. Middle relief, closer. Now contrast that with the Yankees where Carlos Rodan pitched 475 innings. Nestor Cortez pitched for 174 innings. Marcus Stroman pitched for 154 innings. Luis Gill pitched for 151 innings. So understand the Dodgers have a pitcher by committee approach, which makes it harder for an opposing team to figure out exactly what the Dodgers are going to be bringing that night. I believe that kind of approach is actually more effective because there's more than one central point of failure. Yankee starters are going to pitch some innings. The Yankees are actually depending on their starters to pitch some innings. The hitters will get familiar with Yankee starters. Here, who knows how long Jack Flattery is going to pitch for the Dodgers in game one. Understand, if he gets taken out of the game early, and he, of course, is in his 20s, he's not 33, if he gets taken out of the game early, Dodger culture is such that they'll plug in a guy out of the bullpen. The Dodger bullpen has gone a lot of innings. I believe that's harder to prepare for, for an opposing team. Let me also say, too, that the teams have some structural idiosyncrasies. It's the Dodgers who are much better against left-handed pitching. They're 36 and 17. It's the Yankees who are much better against right-handed pitching. They're 73 and 45 on the year. What that tells me is that the managers will then have an opportunity to put the other team in interesting situations by taking out pitchers and looking for matchup advantages. To me, that favors the Dodgers because, of course, as I said earlier, Dave Roberts has been to multiple World Series as the manager, uh, while Aaron Boone has not. Also, Dodger culture is matchup-based. Right there, lead starter has only pitched 140.1 innings, right? Understand, among the starting pitchers for the Dodgers, only two guys pitched for more than 100 innings pitched this year. So they're accustomed to pulling guys. If Roberts comes out to the mound and says, hey, thanks a lot, Jack, you got us here, but Giancarlo Stanton, who is a free swinger, has a problem against this type of pitcher. We have that. We're going to go there based on the numbers. 
based on the analytics, based on the AI printout. There'll be no mutiny on the Dodgers, right? This won't be a situation where, you know, the pitcher says, come on, Skip, you're going to take me out in a World Series when I'm cruising here in the fifth inning, right? With the Yankees, that might happen. There might be more blowback. Their manager hasn't been as successful as Dave Roberts. With the Dodgers, I believe they're going to be able to make the adjustments because that's the culture. Because this isn't Dave Roberts' first World Series as manager. So, I like the Dodgers here, um, but I'll agree. If Aaron Judge, who is a major candidate for AL MVP. Gets hot, if Stanton stays hot, if Juan Soto continues to hit home runs in big moments, that's gonna be tough for the Dodgers to overcome, right? But I suspect the Dodgers are gonna throw a lot of pitchers at those guys. Let's remember too, Otani is the likely NL MVP. Otani is bringing a speed dynamic, more than 50 steals, to this party. Understand, too, this is a dream matchup for the major leagues. You're going to have a lot of Japanese press following the team around. Now, the Dodgers are accustomed to that. They've had Otani all year. This might be new for the Yankees. For those reasons, I'm leaning to the Dodgers to win the series. But I'll concede. It's a fluid situation. I'll concede the Dodgers are not as good on the road as a Dodger fan might hope they would be. I concede these teams have idiosyncrasies that a skilled manager can exploit. Those are my thoughts. Let me hear yours in the comment section of this YouTube video. Thanks for stopping by.